So I tried something different with this video. I wanted to give you a bunch of information in a short period of time so I don't ramble on. I'd stay on point. So I scripted it out, had a teleprompter, and you know this was even suggested to me by one of you. Great idea. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out very well. Been in the shutdown for about three weeks and I just wanted to give you some actual data. Uh, three weeks ago on March 18th I was talking about the possibilities, what might happen with things being shut down and uh, since then I've been tracking on a daily basis and it's, it's interesting the the Ottawa Real Estate Board puts out a news release, they put it out at the beginning of April but they don't track things on a daily basis and they made some interesting conclusions and over the last few days I've been trying to trying to nail this video put it all together and uh, yeah, I'm watching myself read the very well-written blog post about uh, the COVID-19 impact on the Ottawa real estate market. And um, yeah, reading a script, I guess if I memorize it better so that I can then sound more natural, but it just, yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Our results show that the Ottawa real estate market seems to have withstood the pressure of a worldwide economic event in March. Not my words. Those are the words of the president of the Ottawa Real Estate Board, quoted in the board's April 3rd news release. This opening statement is an example of the careless positive spin that real estate agents and their representatives need to avoid. Statements like this are unfortunately common in the industry, and this is one of the primary reasons I started my newsletter eight years ago. Real estate professionals have a responsibility to inform the public objectively and a duty of the same for their clients. So, to script or to wing it in a video, what do you prefer? Uh, there's no way you liked, there's, there's, there's no way you like that guy. The worldwide event began in December or January and its first tangible impact in Ontario hit in early March. It's rather premature to state that the Ottawa real estate market has withstood the pressure of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pressure is going to continue through April for certain May most probably and quite possibly longer. How much longer we don't know. On March 19th, the Ontario government ordered the shutdown of non-essential businesses throughout the province. Within a day or two, they published a list of essential businesses and industries to guide this directive. Real estate agents are considered essential thanks in part to some excellent lobbying by the Ontario Real Estate Association. The crux of the argument is that Many consumers are in the middle of real estate transactions that cannot simply be stopped without dire consequences. And agents are required to counsel them to completion. There will also inevitably be people whose circumstances make their need to buy or sell high, a high enough priority that they must be allowed to do so even in the midst of this pandemic at its current level of risk in Ontario. Some really good points there. Back to the board's news release and the president's comments for a moment. To be fair and to her credit, she added the following, quote, however, in context with our market's performance up to this point, we can see the underlying effect. Before the pandemic, monthly unit sales were increasing 10 to 16 percent from 2019, while March's sales were just on par with a year ago. This is an indicator that there has been a slowdown in the real estate market due to COVID-19. This comment more accurately reflects the market impact in Ottawa, and it makes it very clear that the opening statement was not justified. It essentially contradicts it. So hey, give him a break. You know, there's some really good points in what he's saying, even if he is sort of looking down and sort of sounding like a robot despite trying to pace it out. The real estate board produces monthly statistics in tabular form. I produce graphs from those statistics every month and I provide my observations and analysis in my newsletter. It is clear that this monthly data formed the basis for the board's news release and the president's comments. The question is, why did they not dig deeper? The COVID-19 pandemic has generated a global response that seems unprecedented, 
seems unprecedented since measures taken during World War II. If there was ever a time to dig deeper, this is it. Curiosity alone should drive the desire, and for me it has. I've been running daily queries in the MLS system to track the impact of current events on the Ottawa market. The question is, will seller or buyer activity change the most? While it was clear the entire market would slow down, the balance between buyer and seller activity is the biggest driver of property value and pricing. On March 18th, I discussed one scenario. If buyers were to perceive an opportunity to acquire a home with less competition than we've been experiencing in Ottawa in the strong seller's market prevailing for the past year or so, perhaps buyer activity would not reduce as much as seller activity. It would not be, sorry, it would be reasonable to think that sellers might perceive current conditions as less conducive to selling, and they might think opening their doors to viewings and inspections during a pandemic to be quite risky. This combination of motivators could have bolstered the seller's market with demand continuing to outpace supply. The daily data shows what's happening in fact. Of course, could change going forward, but at this stage, the opposite scenario to the one that I proposed is happening. Well, interesting, some, some interesting information there. I, I should listen to this guy. There are more sellers than buyers entering the market right now. If you're interested in the full report, click the information banner to read it on my site, ottawaagent.ca. It shouldn't be a surprise. Look at stock market behavior. The wisest investors, those who gain the most over time, always buck the trend. There's herd mentality in markets. People buy when prices are rising. They don't want to take the risk when prices are falling or they perceive they might fall, even though you should try to buy low and sell high. Hey, you know what? Uh, it may be scripted, but he's saying some good stuff. You should pay attention. Real estate agents, have a responsibility to dig deeper and objectively inform. Their clients also expect them to advise, but never cajole. My advice to clients during the pandemic should go without saying, but clients want reassurance. Their instincts are prudent given current conditions. So I'm not going to let that guy drone on for his whole eight minute speech. So as far as the updated actual information goes, just read the blog post. If you're interested, the stats are there, the graphs are there. I'll link it up here. Behind me is the, uh, the Saint Joseph uh, Cathedral, I guess. Down this way is the old, uh, the historic main street of Orleans, which has so much potential to be an amazing walking district. They, and they've tried over the years to do some development. Uh, there have been different initiatives to try and promote development on the strip. There are a lot of amazing businesses down here, lots of good stuff. It just isn't all done up, you know, consistently pretty like Preston Street or, uh, or uh, Main Street or, you know, one of these other areas where they've really developed the look and feel of the walking district. But, there are a lot of great businesses here and uh, it's a super neighborhood. How can I compare thee when no one ever ever could come close? Look around but I can't see that is usually just how it goes. Brought a new horizon. Opened up our doors to something more. Spun me round and you shook me. Got me tainted to the core. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you. Close to you. For the
Uh, there's also, by the way, just some just over here, there are some beautiful ravines. You'd, you'd be amazed at the the combination of wildlife, wilderness, or you know, natural environment and city environment. That's it for today, folks. I will see you in the next video. Uh, hit the uh, hit, hit, hit the like if you like this video. Uh, even if you didn't like the video, hit the like anyway. I mean, I could use the support. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my newsletter. Uh, uh, so many orders, so many demands. I will see you in the next video. Peace.